just because you can doesn't mean you should. How's it going, everybody? Driver 53 here, and today I'm going to show you how you could have a 40 meter wide mower, baler, collector contraption here. Now, in reality, guys, I want to show you how to set up a 20 meter one because the 40 meter one here, it's awesome, but it doesn't go that fast at all. Here is the main part of this contraption. First, you're going to have the Lizard Tandem Series right here. This is the 39,000. To find it in your store, you're going to want to come down here to miscellaneous, then go all the way across to where your tandems are at. You're going to want the Tandem Flex 39,000. Now, the one thing that you're going to want to make sure you do is right there in the middle, you want to make sure that you get a long central. All right, that's going to be very important for this co combination once you start adding a lot of other things onto it. All right, so if you buy it, just get it with it. it it's not going to cost you any extra money. Make sure you get the long center there in the middle. Next, you're going to want to get two of one of my favorite mods right here, the Snuffle Stuck. And to find it, you're going to need to come down here to Dollies, and then you're going to go across to your Snuffle Stuck, 7,500 bucks. You're going to want to make sure that you get the trailer hitch, okay, on the front hitch option. Make sure you get trailer hitch, all right? It's going to have a three-point on the back. It's going to be important. But on the front, trailer hitch. That's what you're going to want. And last but not least, you're going to want to make sure that your mowers are part of the ultimate mowing and bailing pack. The reason is because these things come with a three-point hitch that's going to attach your big winged section to your smaller middle section right here find both of these come over to mowers in your store then you go across until you find right here the convertland is what they're branded as but it needs to say ultimate mowing and bailing pack down at the bottom once you get in here you want to make sure that you leave this on your uh, vario bx all right you want those uh conveyors on the back of this because that's going to be important to be able to put this into a center uh windrow as you're mowing you definitely definitely want those on there Design that you could have the Vicon or the Converland. Either one does not matter here. Make whichever color you want. Now, the important part here is your rear hitch. All right. Right now, you can see that there is nothing on here at all. Whenever you go across, you can see that now you have a low ball hitch. You've got a low pin hitch. What we're interested in is the three point. Now, it says a rear hitch three point. You only have one option for this. So make sure that is the one you get right here. You're going to want to get two of these. And over here on your front mower, you can select your Vicon or your Cavernland. Either one, no option here. It is as it is. You don't get to select anything on the attachment points. Just select the color you want and you are good to go. You're going to need two of this as well. Once you have all of your pieces from the store, you need to go ahead and start attaching everything together. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get your snuffle stuck right here. Go ahead and attach it. And then you want to back up to your winged mower, all right? Now, this is the way that you want to attach this. Leave that three-point attachment for back there. You want this section right here, okay, where all the hoses and everything are at. This is the one that you want to attach right here. After you do that, back up to your other mower and connect it, and then you are good to go. Now, you can see that everything is up in the air now. So what I want to do is go ahead and start lowering everything down. All right. So I'm going to come up here to my winged section of the mower, the two wide parts, the blue ones that you see here. Whenever I hold my L1 and I want to lower the mower, I just hit circle. All right. Now it is down. It's going to do what I want it to do. Now I've got the back mower back here. So what I could do is actually lift the mower or lower the mower. So just lower it down. Pretty simple. It is going to be good to go. By using the snuffle stuck here, it lowers everything down right exactly where it needs to be. Now, you can use a tandem for this setup also, but I found that using the snuffle stuck here, it works just a little bit better, and it's a little bit less confusing on uh, some of the uh, the lowering points. Like when the tandem, you've got like upper and lower position. This one here, I don't have this at all. So this is your mower. It's going to be 10 meters wide, and if you want two of them, well, it's pretty simple. All you got to do, put your other one together and just set it right next to this. Now, let's go grab our tandem. So it's going to be pretty simple. All you have to do is just back up to your snuffle stucks now, and you want to have this all the way spread apart. If I hold my R1 and I go left and right on my joystick, the right R3, then it's pretty simple to move these things in and out. Now, I want to start with these all the way out here at the outside, and then what I'm going to do as I start mowing, I'm probably going to end up bringing them into somewhere right about in here. 
That way, the middle part of my mowers will actually touch. Now, this is going to give me a 20 meter mower. Then all you got to do is just go ahead and start lowering everything down, and you can go ahead and turn them on as well. You can see up there in the icons, things are starting to lower down. They're getting turned blue. And then all I have to do is just shuffle back through until all of my items here are highlighted blue and they're lowered down into that position. Now all I have to do is just start making my way around the map and I am going to go ahead and have two windrows right here. Now the awesome thing about this by using the tandem and the snuffle stuck, guys, this is going to go fast. All right. So we are going 18 miles an hour. That is absolutely awesome here. 20 meters wide at 18 miles an hour. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my cruise now. And while I'm doing that, I need to just go back over to my tandem and I can separate these out just a little bit more to get me the absolute max spacing that I need. And you can see there, I missed just a little bit there in the middle, but I adjusted it and brought it right back to where it needs to be. Now you may be wondering, how in the world do you get the balers behind it? And it's actually quite easy. All you need to do is hook up one snuffle stuck right here. You remember this middle section that I told you to keep long? Yeah, yeah, you're going to need to do that because you're going to put the first snuffle stuck right here, okay? By doing that, it's going to go right here in this area. It's going to interfere just a little bit, but it's going to be fine. And then you're going to attach another snuffle stuck to the back of this first one that's going to go right through here. So just imagine this point right here is going to go connected right there on that tandem. So you only need four snuffle stucks at that point. Then it gets you another tandem, 39,000 right here. And then just hook your bales to it. And then get them with the hitch. And you're going to be able to put your trailer, whatever auto load you want, on the end of that. And that's going to be able to set you up two rows at the same time. You're going to be able to mow at 18 miles an hour. You're going to be able to bale it, turn it into silage bales, and auto load it all in one pass, guys. 20 meters wide, 18 miles an hour. That is insane. Absolutely a time saver. It takes a little bit to get together though. So what you want to do, bring your snuffle stucks, that set up right here, right in the middle. Then you want to bring these, attach them, kind of drive over from the side, get them lined up about where you can see here. And then you're just going to take your snuffle stuck or your uh, tandem back up to all three, connect them. You may have to use another smaller trailer to help or tractor to help move things around a little bit to help massage it into place now i totally understand this is not a setup that you're going to be able to fold up and take from field to field this is one you leave in the field and yes if you want to make this thing super super wide 40 meters you're going to need four mower setups four bailers four auto loads and you're going to need three more tandems to hook up in the front so once again hook a tandem up so it's going to be here one wing attached there you're going to set up your other setup over here. Your tandem is going to be there. And then one tandem right in the middle to connect anything together. If you want to see exactly how that is, go back to the first part of the video where I've got everything hooked up together. You can see that very, very well. Now, one really awesome thing about this setup is, yes, you are going to be able to hire workers, but I would be very, very cautious about it because when you get to the end of the field, they uh, they don't like to turn around very easy at all. It um. It's like a big old train wreck. You know what I mean? Like everything's on top of each other. It's gnarly. I just, I wouldn't do it. Use this setup if you're wanting to drive around and make turns yourself while mowing. Or, or you could just go back and forth on the turns. Um, do that yourself and let the worker do the long sections by themselves solo. So it goes perfectly straight. And then you're good. Now you absolutely can do it this way too, where you just mow really fast. And then you come back with a double baler setup that we showed in a previous video, do that. And then you can just pick both of them up at the same time and you're good to go there. But everybody that's going to be it for today. If you enjoyed this video or learned something today, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you would, if you want to stay up to date on my future tips and tricks and videos here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.